Uh, one, two, three. Who was fastest? Pete Vernon in 5.82 seconds. Well done, Pete. <laughs> You really, really ought to play for it. I reckon so. Otherwise, it's not much of a show. Good man. All right. So, Pete Vernon, a former electronics engineer from Farnborough in Hampshire, up in the audience is um, his little sister, Rosemary. Uh, Pete says he's here tonight just for the challenge. We'll be happy to win anything with some zeros in it, including, he says, nout. We'll see. And if you're wondering what Pete would look like without that beard, well, here's a picture. <laughs> ah, hardly changed at all. <laughs> That's little Pete, just one year old. So, let's make a start. If Pete gets stuck, he's got three lifelines, as always, to help him. He's got 50-50. He can phone a friend, and, of course, he can ask this audience... And don't forget, the audience are now voting on every single question. We shall see. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, Pete, you ready for this? Yep. Yep. OK, question number one for £100. Here it comes. Which of these is a close-fitting garment covering the lower half of the body and legs? Torts. Tights. Rigids. Stiffs. I think we'll go for tights. I think we'll go for tights. You've got £100. Good man. <laughs> Question number two is for £200. Have a look. Here it comes. Which of these words means to increase in size at a rapid rate? Snowstorm. Snowball. Snowman. Snowplow. Snowball. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Number three. This is for £300. Complete the title of the George Formby song, When I'm Cleaning... dot, 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 question mark. Carpets. Windows. Chimneys. Cupboards. It's windows. You got £300. <laughs> when I'm cleaning cupboards. <laughs> right, number four. £500. Here it is. What is the slang term for a police trap set up to catch criminals? Sting. Croak. Buzz. Bark. It's a sting. You got £500. <laughs> going terribly well, isn't it? Question number five is for a thousand. Here it is. Who was the regular host of the TV game show Bullseye? Tom O'Connor. Matthew Kelly. Les Dennis. Jim Bowen. Jim Bowen. A long time to make your mind up. Yeah, I'm sure it's Jim Bowen. It's a right answer. You've got one thousand pounds guaranteed. <laughs> Good man, Pete. There you are, taking some noughts home. <laughs> Good man. Now you've actually retired, haven't you? Yes. But you sort of work about every. It's very strange the way you're doing it. You you have retired, but you work about every third year. Well, that's the idea. Most people do work all year, have four weeks holiday and get ulcers. Yeah. I thought, why not do it years instead? Work two years, have one year's holiday, and don't get ulcers. <laughs> so I can't find it written down that you have to do it the other way. No, you don't have to do it the <laughs> other way at all. You can stop all together if you want. Yeah. But you're very active. You, you walk miles and miles and miles, and yes. you love it, don't you? Yes. Walking the coast? Yes. Staying out for months at a time? Mm -hmm. what, what was the famous walk that you did? You started down your part of the world in Swanage. Yeah, the southwest coast path. It starts in Poole Harbour, yeah, and it goes round the West Country coast to Minehead in Somerset. And I walked. So that's Devon, that's Cornwall, that's the whole lot. Yeah, six hundred miles. Good grief! I walked every inch of it. And when she came to collect you in Minehead, Rosemary didn't recognise you. You lost so much weight. That's right. Isn't that strange? Lost three stone in sixty-three <laughs> days. <laughs> Good grief! <laughs> um, and also, you did say to me earlier on, if you won a grand tonight, which you have, and it's guaranteed that you have, yeah. that's five hundred pints. That's about right. Yes. <laughs> Good plan, right. <laughs> so you've got 500 pints at least, and when you get to the bar, remember, I'm your best friend. Right, you've got £1,000 guaranteed. You're ten away from a million, you've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number six. What is a narrow channel linking two large areas of sea? Peninsula. Isthmus. Lagoon. Strait. It's a strait. Not an isthmus? No, isthmus is land. 
Two large areas of sea. Final answer? Yep. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> you got £2,000. This is for £4,000. You've got all three lifelines. Question number seven. What is the nationality of racing driver Nicky Lauda? Grand Prix champion in 75, 77 and 84. Nationality of Lauda. Swedish, Italian, Austrian, Brazilian. He's Austrian. Sure? Yep. How'd you know? Because I used to watch Formula One motor racing. <laughs> Final answer. Yep. No problem with any of these. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Rose is looking very pleased with you now. Are you as calm as you look? You look very together. Well, actually, I'm hysterical at the moment. Are you? You, you should see me when I'm really calm. <laughs> well, listen, four thousand pounds. That's um, that's two thousand pints, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You reckon a thousand pounds, you get uh, five hundred pints. One of the things you want to do, amongst your strange um, ambitions, you want to be the first man on Mars. Yep. Why Mars? Uh, because that's probably where the first manned space settlements are going to be. And I think they'll be there in about 20 years' time. Really? Yep. Right, Pete, you've got £4,000. <laughs> uh, next question's for 8000 You still have all three lifelines intact. Have a look at question number eight. Tell me what you want to do. <laughs> what was the surname of the Scottish author whose first two names were James Matthew? Elliot, Forster, Barry, Lewis. Surname of the Scottish author whose first two names were James Matthew, Elliot, Forster, Barry, Lewis. It's worth £8,000 to you. Take your time, take as long as you need. It's Barry. Why? Because I've just gone through the others. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> right, question number nine for 16000 This is getting serious. You have not yet touched any lifelines. You have all three left. You're seven away from a million. This would be for £16,000. Which comedian played the role of the toy maker in the 1968 film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Ken Dodd, Benny Hill, Dick Emery, Norman Wisdom. Comedian played the role of the toy maker in the 1968 film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Ken Dodd, Benny Hill. Dick Emery, Norman Wisdom. That's the audience, please. OK, they'll be pleased. Audience, let's get you on the keypads, please. We want to try and get Pete up to £16,000. Right, this is the question. Which comedian played the role of the toy maker in the 1968 film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? A, B, C or D, it's worth £16,000. All vote now. Uh, 62%. Big percentage, uh, say Benny Hill. 7% think it was Ken Dodd. Uh, 19 say Dick Emery. 12, Normal Wisdom. Uh, what do you reckon? I'm going to go with it. Gamble on the audience being right. Many people have done that and gone home on the bus. <laughs> yep. We've had to lend them the fare. <laughs> um, going to play? Benny Hill, go with them. Benny Hill. Final answer. Final answer. I can tell you that Rosemary also thinks it's Benny Hill. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Do you and Rosemary think alike? She's, what, four years younger? Do you think alike? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a no, then. <laughs> Very definite. Well, you thought alike on that one. OK, you've got £16,000. You've still got two lifelines. You've got to phone a friend left, you've got a 50-50. So, question number 10 is this. You're six away from one million. Here it comes. 
What is another name for the mountain ash tree? You're nodding your head. What are you yep. thinking? <coughs> what are Rowan. You what? Rowan. Okay, let's see. Birch. Rowan. Willow. Elm. Rowan. Rowan. Yeah. Bye. Final answer. <laughs> Final answer. Absolutely right. You got thirty-two thousand pounds. We'll play. You still have two lifelines. Thirty-two thousand pounds. Have a look. That'll be handy, won't it, when you're um, when yes. you're shopping on Mars? Oh, a uh, lovely looking site that is. Yes, <laughs> lovely site. <laughs> I don't know what they'll make of you on Mars, actually. Yeah. You want to take it? It's yours. I'll, I'll put it in here. Okay. You've still got a 50-50, you've still got to phone a friend. You're five right answers away from one million pounds. This is question number 11. You might as well play this. It's worth 64,000. Here it comes. Kublai Khan was emperor of which country? Egypt, Persia, India, China. Kublai Khan was the emperor of which country? Egypt, Persia, India, China. It's China. Got lifelines if you need them. That was China, because I think Marco Polo went there. Worked for him. Final answer. Yes. You just won £64,000. <laughs> it's getting a bit serious now, isn't it? <laughs> Well, you've got um, 64,000. Yeah, have a look. But we don't yes. want to give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. You've got 32,000. At this moment, obviously, you can walk away with that cheque for 64,000. Yeah. The crucial thing is, though, you save those lifelines well back. You've got a 50 50 still, and you've got to phone a friend. Question number 12, if you want to play for it, is worth £125,000. Have a look. Question number 12 of a possible 15. Here it is. Who composed the opera Billy Budd? Edward Elgar, Ralph Vaughan Williams, William Walton, Benjamin Britten. Now 50 50, please. You can. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Pete the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. What's that done? It goes for nothing. Benjamin Britten. What does it say goes for nothing? Make a decision. It's Benjamin Britten. How sure are you? Not particularly, but I'm going for it. Don't want to phone a friend. Final answer. Why did you go for Benjamin Brown? It's good you did. It is the right answer. You got one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Let's have that one, please. Thank you. Question number thirteen. If you do go for it and give me the right answer, it is worth a quarter of a million. Okay, Pete. Good luck. This is question number thirteen. In classical mythology, what was Charybdis? Cyclops, dog of the underworld, whirlpool, winged horse. Whirlpool. Why are you saying that? Was it because the the two dangers were Scylla and Charybdis. And it was Scylla? Rock, Scylla and Charybdis. I think it was the rocks and the whirlpool. That's what I'm going for. Final answer. Final answer. I can tell you that 51% of this audience think you're wrong. But I can tell you that you're right. You've just won 250,000. <laughs> Fantastic! Come on!
Thank you. Right, serious business. Have a look at that. Have a look Can't at reach. That. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know this thing about working every third year? Yeah. Will you bother? No. <laughs> Oh, come on, Pete, take your time. Let's think about this. <laughs> Good man. Now, you still have one lifeline. They'll be pleased at the other end. Phone a friend. Mm -hmm. You have a quarter of a million at this moment. You can obviously walk away with that. If you go for it and give me a right answer, this is worth £500,000. All right, Pete, take as long as you need. Have a look at question number 14 of a possible 15. The Snellen test measures which of the human senses? Touch, smell, sight, hearing. I have no idea. And I don't think my phone friend would know either. So, I take not, money. Is it not worth a try? Phone a friend? You've got nothing to lose. It's up to you. No, I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain. No, I'm going to call it a day. Well, a good day. <laughs> very, very good day. Top of the ride up here. Yeah. <laughs> Final answer, you can take the Final mic. answer. If you'd gone for one, just out of interest, if you'd gone for one, the Snellen test measures which of the human senses should you have gone for? It would be a random guess. So I'll just say A. Touch. Good thing he didn't. I can tell you the right answer is actually sight. Mm. Give him a big hand. He goes away a quarter of a million pounds. Better off. Well played. <laughs> now, time for our ninth.